Good morning students. Welcome to Max class. Today we are going to see a new topic. Mathematical induction. Consider this sum of n natural numbers. So what is sum of n natural number? 1 plus 2 plus 3 etc up to n equal to what is the formula? n into n plus 1 by 2. Right? This you have studied in your lower class. Okay. Is that formula is try, uh, true? Have you ever tried whether it is true or false? Yes, it is. We can prove that it is true by using this mathematical induction. Now, I will tell you what is this mathematical induction. This mathematical induction is a method. Okay, so this is a method of Proving the mathematical results or theorem like this. Actually, this is a, a formula. Okay, well, or you can take it this as a result. So, this mathematical induction is a method of proving mathematical results like this or theorem. Okay, so this mathematical induction is a very useful and interesting method in mathematics. Now, what are the steps we are going to follow using this mathematical induction? We can see now. Take your book, page number 188. Uh, so, what are the steps we can follow to use this mathematical induction? First step is verify that the statement is true for n equal to 1. So, whatever the statement or result or theorem is given, you have to verify the statement for n equal to 1. So, if it is true, then you can say that P of 1 is true. Okay, well, and your next step is, uh, we have to prove for N equal to K. So, we have to assume that this N equal to K is true. And last step, we have to take N equal to K plus 1. So, we have to prove N equal to K plus 1 is true. If it is true, then using mathematical induction, we can say that the given result or theorem or statement is true. So, what are the steps we are going to follow? Steps. First step is, let N equal to 1. You have to prove that P of 1 is true. And second step, let n equal to k and we have to assume that, assume P of k is true. Okay. And third step is, let n equal to k plus 1 and we have to prove that P of k plus 1 is true. So, these are the three steps we are going to follow uh, to prove the uh, given result by using mathematical induction. So, now directly we can get into the exercise. Exercise 4.4 First problem. By the principle of mathematical induction, prove that for n greater than or equal to 1, 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube etc up to n cube equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 the whole square. So this is a result. Okay well like yes sum of n natural number. This is sum of cube of n natural number. What is the formula? n into n plus 1 by 2 the whole square. So we are going to prove the given statement is true by using what method? Mathematical induction method. Okay, solution. What is the step one? Step one is whatever the state, uh, equation is given that we have to denote by P of N. So, let P of N be the statement. Let P of N be the statement. 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, sorry, cube, 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube, etc. Up to n cube equal to n into n plus 1 by 2, the whole square. Okay, this whole term, this whole term we are denoting as P of n. Is that okay? Okay, this is your first step. Next, let n equal to 1. So, instead of n, what we are going to substitute? 1. So, this will become 
P of 1. Correct? Huh? P of 1 implies. Okay. Um, what, instead of N, what we are going to substitute? 1. So, N means 1. Only uh, 1 cube will come. Correct? Huh? So, 1 cube now we can stop with this uh, first term. So, left hand side is 1 cube which is equal to 1. Next, right hand side. Right hand side is this one. Instead of n, what we are going to substitute? 1. So, this will become 1 into 1 plus 1 is 2 divided by 2. The whole square 2, 2 will get cancelled. So, 1 square is 1. Now, left hand side 1. Right hand side 1. So, both are equal. Correct? 1 equal to 1. So, left hand side equal to right hand side P of 1 is therefore P of 1 is true. First step completed. Next what is your second step? Let n equal to k. First we have taken n equal to 1. Next we are going to take let n equal to k. n equal to k now. Instead of n what we are going to substitute k. So this whole equation will become P of k. Correct? Huh? P of k implies 1 cube, 2 cube, etc. Up to instead of n, what we have to put? k. Plus k cube equal to k into k plus 1 by 2, the whole square. Correct now? Yes. Now, second step, we are going to assume that this is n equal to k is true. So, just write down, assume, assume that p of k is true. P of K is true. So, set the second step completed. Next, we are going to substitute what? Let N equal to K plus 1. So, instead of N, what we have to substitute? K plus 1. So, this equation will become P of K plus 1 equal to, correct? Huh? P of K plus 1 equal to 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube etc. Up to instead of n what we have to substitute k plus 1. So k plus 1 the whole cube equal to instead of n k plus 1 instead of n k plus 1 already 1 1 is here. So plus 1 divided by 2 the whole square. Correct? Huh? Yes. Uh, so that is 1 cube 2 cube 3 cube etc up to k plus 1 the whole cube equal to k plus 1 this is k plus 2 k plus 2 by 2 the whole square this only we want to prove okay uh, p, this is your p of k plus 1 correct huh? so what we want to prove p of k plus 1 is true okay so, to prove this P of K plus 1 is true, we have to take left hand side and you have to get the right hand side. So, first we can take left hand side. What is your left hand side? 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube, etc. up to K plus 1, the whole cube. Correct? Huh? Okay. Now, look at here. This is 1. This is 2. This is 3. So, consequent numbers. So, what is before of k plus 1 k plus 1 occur previous of what number will be there yes k okay so k plus 1 a previous number will be k uh, previous number will be k minus 1 correct huh? so again we can rewrite this equation as 1 cube 2 cube 3 cube etc up to k cube plus this term k plus 1 the whole cube correct huh? okay now Instead of this, instead of this, 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube, etc. up to k cube. Now look at here, 1 cube, 2 cube, etc. up to k cube. Instead of this, what we can substitute? k into k plus 1 by 2, the whole square character. So, instead of this, can we use this right hand side? Yes. So, what we can write? k into k plus 1 by 2 the whole square plus last term is this one k plus 1 the whole cube 
okay wow. now we can take common so k plus 1 square we can take common if i take k plus 1 the whole square common now i will get k by 2 plus k plus 1 again if i simplify this k plus 1 the whole square and uh, taking lcm this will become uh, k plus k by 2 uh, this will become k plus uh, 2k plus 1. Okay, okay. Here I made a mistake. Uh, this is uh, uh, 2, 2, 0, 4, only, no? Correct? Huh? So, because this is square, so this will become 2, 2, 2, 0, 4. This is also k square. k square by 2 twos are 4 so k square plus 4k plus 4 divided by 4 okay now um, this 4 we can write 4 and 4 using uh, how to factorize this 2 twos are 4 2 plus 2 is 4 uh, this is k plus 1 the whole square we can write this as k plus 2 the whole square divided by 4 which is equal to k plus 1 into k plus 2 by 2 the whole square that is your right hand side see right hand side k plus 1 k plus 2 by 2 the whole square now look at here k plus 1 k plus 2 by 2 the whole square so we took left hand side and we arrived the right hand side so if P of k plus 1 is true now. Definitely whatever the statement is given that also true. This is your mathematical induction. Okay. Ma? So since P of k plus 1 is true. Since P of k plus 1 is true. What we can uh, write by the principle of. Sorry. By the principle of mathematical induction. Mathematical induction p of n is true p of n is true for all values of n this is your final answer so one more time i'll tell you and this will be easy and as well as is an important topic so mathematical induction now one statement will be given we have to uh, Verify whether the given statement is true by using mathematical induction. So, what is your first step is whatever the expression is given that you have to denote by P of n. Next, you have to take n equal to 1. Instead of n, we have to take n equal to 1. So, n equal to 1, if you substitute here, we will get 1 cube. 1 cube now only first term. So, we can stop with first term. 1 cube equal to 1. Right hand side, to simplify that also you will get 1. So, left hand side equal to right hand side. So, we can take it as P of 1 is true. Always, this n equal to 1, n equal to k, n equal to k plus 1 is um, common for all the problem so next step n equal to k instead of n what we have to substitute k and uh, p of k what you're going to assume is true so this is also same for all problem assume that p of k is true next uh, we have to take n equal to k plus 1 n equal to k plus 1 now again in here in the question instead of n we are going to substitute k plus 1 both sides so, if you simplify, this is what we get left hand side and right hand side. This only we want to prove. We want to prove we have k plus 1 is true, no? So, this only we are going to prove. So, to prove this, what we are going to do is taking left hand side, okay? And deriving the right hand side. So, we took left hand side here. k plus 1, the whole cube. Now, previous of k plus 1 is k. We can take it as k cube. So, 1 to k cube already we derived the answer here. Instead of that, we can substitute and the last term as it is. And taking common terms out and simplify, you will get your right hand side. So, if you have arrived your right hand side, you can say that by principle of mathematical induction, P of n is true for all values of n. This is your final answer. Second question, 
by the principle of mathematical induction prove that for n greater than or equal to 1 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square etc up to 2n minus 1 the whole square equal to n into 2n minus 1 uh, 2n plus 1 by 3 so this is your result so we are going to prove this by using mathematical induction now tell me what is your first step first step is whatever the question is given that we have to take it as p of n correct huh? p of n implies whole question 1 square 3 square 5 square etc up to 2n minus 1 the whole square equal to n into 2n minus 1 2n plus 1 whole divided by 3 okay next what is the next one let n equal to 1 let n equal to 1 so n equal to 1 na p of 1 correct huh? p of 1 instead of n what we are going to substitute 1 so 2 in okay I'll, I'll put here left hand side if we take 2 into 1 minus 1 the whole square correct huh? 2 into 1 2 2 minus 1 1 1 square is 1 next right hand side instead of n 1 2 into 1 is 2 minus 1 2 into 1 is 2 plus 1 3 whole divided by 3 so 2 the 1 portion of 1 this 3 this 3 will get cancelled which is equal to 1 that is left hand side equal to right hand side therefore p of 1 is true okay what is the next step yes we have to take let n equal to k. Okay. Uh, so, instead of n, what we have to substitute? k. p of k equal to 1 uh, square, 3 square, 5 square, etc. Up to uh, 2 k minus 1, the whole square. Correct? Uh, instead of n, we have to substitute k. Which is equal to uh, k, 2 k minus 1. 2k plus 1 the whole divided by 3 assume that what we have to assume p of k is true we are going to assume that p of k is true and what is the next step let n equal to k plus 1 correct huh? so instead of k what we have to substitute k plus 1 p of k plus 1 equal to 1 square, 3 square, 5 square etc up to uh, 2 k plus 1 minus 1 the whole square equal to instead of k, k plus 1 here 2 into k plus 1 minus 1 2 into k plus 1 plus 1 the whole divided by 3 correct huh? again if we simplify this we will get um, 1 cube 3 cube sorry 1 square 3 square 5 square etc up to uh, this is 2k plus 2 uh, plus 2 la 1 pochina 1 so this is 2k plus 1 the whole square left hand side okay ma? so right hand side to na, k plus 1 and this is 2k uh, 1 into 2 2 minus 1 1 1 point so this is 2k plus 1 and this is 2k 2 plus 1 3 so 2k plus 3 divided by 3 this is your p of k plus 1 what we want to prove p of k plus 1 is true so first what we, we have to take left hand side what is your left hand side 1 square 3 square 5 square etc up to 2k plus 1 the whole square now look at here first number 1 second number 3 next number 5 so we are leaving one one number correct odd numbers we are taking 2k plus 1 so previous will be 2k 
next previous will be 2k minus 1 so we have to take only odd numbers no we can write this as 1 square 3 square 5 square etc up to 2k minus 1 the whole square 2k plus 1 the whole square okay plus plus okay uh, actually the previous number will be 2k but only we are taking odd numbers so that's why we are leaving the 2k and we are taking the next previous will be 2k minus 1 now instead of this what we can write look at here p of k so uh, what are we will get uh, 1 square 3 square 5 square etc up to 2k minus 1 the whole square 1 square 3 square 5 square etc up to 2k minus 1 the whole square is that one and same so instead of this we can write this left right hand side what is that k 2k minus 1 2k plus 1 by 3 plus the last term is 2k plus 1 the whole square as like your previous problem now we can take 2k plus 1 common so 2k plus 1 if i take common we will get um, k into 2k minus 1 by 3 plus 2k plus 1 if you simplify definitely you will get your right hand side so this is 2k plus 1 and this is will be 2k square minus k we are taking lcm 3 2s are 6k plus 3 whole divided by 3 again this is 2k plus 1 uh, 2k square plus 5k plus 3 plus 3 divided by 3 correct huh? so this will be 3 2s are 6 6 and we have to get 5 so 3 2s are 6 3 uh, 2s are 6 3 plus 2 5 and we have to divide by 2 now so divided by 2 divided by 2 1 so what is the answer we will get 2k plus 1 here and this will be uh, 2k plus 3 and this is k plus 1 k plus 1 whole divided by 3 that is what your left hand side right hand side look at here k plus 1 2k plus 1 2k plus 3 the whole divided by 3 correct huh? so we got k plus 1 2k plus 1 2k plus 3 the whole divided by 3 so what we can take therefore and that is your right hand side that is your right hand side therefore p of k plus 1 is true therefore by mathematical induction therefore by mathematical induction p of n is true for all for all values of n p of n is true for all values of n this is your final answer third and fourth question is your homework uh, third question C. Prove that the sum of first n non-zero even numbers is n squared plus n. So first non-zero even numbers. Now what is that? 2, 4, 6. Correct? Huh? So here the statement is 2 plus 4 plus 6 etc. up to 2n equal to n squared plus n. Okay? Wa? In the statement could come. Uh, that is a uh, uh, formation could come. A statement a put come. Uh, that you have to write it as 2 plus 4 plus 6 etc up to 2n equal to n square plus n. And your fourth problem 1 dot 2. It was given like that 1 dot 2. So it is not 1 dot 2. 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 etc up to n into n plus 1 equal to the statement is given. Okay. So your third problem. And fourth problem is your homework. Now go to your fifth problem. Using the mathematical induction, show that for any natural number n greater than or equal to 2, this is the statement given. 1 minus 1 by 2 square into 1 minus 1 by 3 square into 1 minus 1 by 4 square etc. up to 
1 minus n, 1 by n square equal to n into n plus 1 by 2n. Here, you have to know that it is given that n greater than or equal to 2. So, you have to start up with 2 only. Because if you take as 1, you will get 1 minus 1 as 0. Correct? Huh? So, what is your uh, mm, n value? Uh, n greater than or equal to 2. So, for solution, what is the first step? Whatever the statement is given that we have to take it as P of n. P of n implies the whole question. Let. What is your n value here? We have to start up with 2. So, n instead of 1 equal to 2. That's all. The remaining all will be same. n equal to 2. Now, this will become P of 2 implies. Uh, instead of n, what we have to take? 2. So, left hand side will be 1 minus 1 by 2 square. 2, 2s are 4. So, which will become uh, 4 minus 1 by 4. That is equal to 3 by 4. Next to right hand side. Right hand side is uh, 2 plus 1 by 2 into 2. So 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2 2 is 4. Left hand side equal to right hand side. Therefore P of 2 is true. P of 2 is true. Correct? Okay. Next to what is the next step? Let n equal to k. n equal to k. So this will become P of k implies 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 square, 1 minus 1 by 3 square, etc. up to 1 minus 1 by k square equal to k plus 1 by 2k. Assume that P of k is true. Next, let uh, n equal to k plus 1. This will become P of k plus 1 equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 square, 1 minus 1 by 3 square, etc. up to 1 minus 1 by k plus 1 the whole square equal to k plus 1 plus 1 by 2 into k plus 1. Okay, this will become 1 minus 1 by 2 square. 1 minus 1 by 3 square etc up to 1 minus 1 by k plus 1 the whole square equal to k plus 2 by 2k plus 2 p of k plus 1 so what we want to prove p of k plus 1 p of k plus 1 is true okay well. Uh, so, we, we shall we take your left hand side? What is the left hand side? 1 minus 1 by 2 square. 1 minus 1 by 3 square. Etc. Up to 1 minus 1 by k plus 1 the whole square. Equal to k plus 2 by 2k plus 2. Okay. Now, what we have to do, we have to take the previous uh, term of this one. So, k plus 1, now what will be the previous term? k square, we can write this as 1 by 2 square, 1 minus 1 by 3 square, etc. 1 minus 1 by k square, 1 minus 1 by k plus 1, the whole square. Only left hand side only we have took now. Okay. So instead of this. Okay. Where is that term here? So instead of this k term. We can take k plus 1 by 2k. k plus 1 by 2k. And this term will be 1 minus 1 by k plus 1. The whole square implies 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 then we have to simplify this correct huh? k plus 1 by 2k taking lcm we'll get k plus 1 the whole square minus 1 by k plus 1 the whole square correct huh? now uh, this uh, k 
plus 1 and the square will get cancelled. This will become k plus 1 the whole square. Na? k square plus 1 plus 2k minus 1 by 2k into k plus 1. And uh, this um, uh, 1, 1 will get cancelled. If we take k common here, we will get k plus 2 by this 2k of k plus 1. Again, this k, k will get cancelled. So, what will be remaining? k plus 2 by multiplying this, we will get 2k plus 2. That is your right hand side here. P, P of k plus 1, correct? Huh? Which is equal to your right hand side. Therefore, P of k plus 1 is true. Therefore, by mathematical induction, mathematical induction p of n is true for all values of n that's all your solution gets over so we'll stop with this and your homework is exercise 4.4 uh, third and fourth problem Okay. And if you have any doubt, you can uh, ask me. Thank you, students.